This is problem number five from section 3.4. And this problem, it says Explorer, explorers on a small airless planet used a spring gun to launch a ball bearing vertically upward from the surface at a launch velocity of 47.5 meters per second. So I'm gonna say that they're launching this thing up and that its initial velocity is 47.5 meters per second. Because the acceleration of gravity at the planet's surface was g of s, so they're going to say g of s, this is meters per second squared. This is a variable here. So because the acceleration of gravity at the planet's surface was this unknown acceleration, the explorers expected the ball bearing to reach a height of s equals, so we're going to go ahead and write this here, s equals 47.5 t minus 1 half, then this is the acceleration, uh, t squared. t seconds later. The ball bearing reaches maximum height, so it's max height up here. We're going to call it max height. 50 seconds after being launched. So this took 50 seconds. What was the value of g of s? All right. Well, just to start this equation, let's go ahead and say that the velocity is going to equal s prime and that the acceleration is going to equal the v prime. Let's take the derivative of this. That'd be 47.5. Uh, bring the 2 to the front, so you end up with minus 2 times a half. That's just 1, so you have minus g of s t. Do the derivative again. That goes away we end up with just negative gs, which makes sense. Acceleration is negative what they give us for acceleration of the problem. Okay. Now, we have to do some critical thinking here. We want to find the value of g of s. What are the things we know? We know that the uh, max height is reached at time, so max height is reached at t equals 50 seconds. We know with an initial velocity of 47.5 meters per second. And I guess what else we know is when we reach a max height, what has to happen? When we reach that max height and we start coming downwards, what has to happen there? Well, as we go up, we have a speed, and that speed's slowing down until eventually it hits zero, and then it starts to come back down, um, back to this airless planet. So max height is, is reached at t equal 50 seconds, and velocity equal to zero. So if I take this velocity equation, I can solve for g of s, which is our goal, right? What is the value of g of s? I can solve for g of s because I'll know the velocity is zero at its max height, and the time is 50, I can plug those two things in and solve for g of s. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's say that 0 equals 47.5 minus g of s times 50. We'll subtract that over. That's negative 47.5 equals negative 50 g of s. And then we divide by negative 50. And we end up with 0.95 is g of s. So our gravity on the planet, right, the surface or the, the acceleration of gravity is 0.95, and I should actually write that as, uh, they said meters and seconds, right? Yes, meters per second squared. 